Hey, what's up everyone? This is Music Tech Help Guy, and in this video, I'm gonna show you how to create tempo slowdowns at the end of your song. Now, technically, you can do this anywhere in your song. You can, you know, have the tempo start slow, and then you could ramp up the tempo if you wanted, or you could start at a higher tempo or at a faster tempo, and then bring it down. For this video, I'm gonna demonstrate it at the end of my song, but there's a lot of different ways you can implement this. So, a couple of things up front. If you are going to have a slowdown at some point in your song, it's better to plan for it in advance because if you have like musicians coming in to play on the track or you're going to sing on the track or you're going to play guitar, whatever it is, then what you can do is you can follow the metronome with the tempo change and you don't have to like slow things down in post like I'm going to do in this video. So there's different approaches to this. So in this video, I'm going to slow down the tempo of my song at the end in post by by using a combination of the tempo global track along with flex time. Okay, so let's give our track a listen here. Just at the end, we are at 94 uh, BPM throughout. It's mostly audio with one MIDI track. And there we go. So what I want to do is I want to slow down uh, really just like the, the last bar leading into the final chord or the final note here. Now, if you're working with all MIDI and you don't actually have any audio in your project, this whole process is a little simpler. What you can do is you can just press G to open up your global tracks. Make sure that your tempo track is shown. And to show that, you can right click in here or control click and make sure you select tempo. And on the tempo track, I like to zoom this out a little bit. You'll see this line and that line represents your current tempo. So you can click to create a point. You'll see we're at 94. Then you can click somewhere else and then you can pull that down if you like. And you can also pull down the sort of curve of that tempo change. So if we're starting at 94, maybe let's go to... There we go, like 67. And then you can adjust the curve of the tempo change here. Now, one of the things you're noticing is that all of the audio keeps moving when you make the tempo change. And that's because the audio is not necessarily going to play back faster or slower, whereas the MIDI will. So if you're just working with MIDI, you don't have to do any additional steps. The MIDI will follow the tempo change. This includes MIDI regions, step sequencer regions, and uh, session player regions as well. But if you're working with audio, there's one additional step we need to do in advance. So I'm gonna get rid of that tempo change for now. Let's go to all of our audio tracks here. And what we're gonna do is we're going to turn on flex time by clicking here, and then you're gonna click here to turn on flex for each track. Now, if you wanna take the time to choose a more appropriate algorithm for each of the tracks, you can. So like my percussion tracks, I'll switch over to slicing instead of polyphonic and then the rest can just stay on, on polyphonic. And then if I open up my global track again, and I click where I want the tempo change to go and pull this down, and again, let's come down to like the mid 60s. There we go, 65. Let's grab this right here, create a bit of a tempo curve. And what you'll see is the audio no longer sort of moves on the timeline because the audio is now following the tempo because we turned on flex time. We're not actually using flex time to make time corrections. We're just using it to make sure that that audio is pliable and flexible. Um, so now when I play this back, you're gonna hear the audio slow down along with the MIDI slowing down. And there you go. And you can adjust this to any range you like, and you can also play around with different curves. Now, obviously, you're going to get some artifacts from the flex time. So this is what I was saying before. If you are planning on a slowdown or a tempo change in your song, it's better to plan it out in advance because the metronome will follow these tempo changes as well. Let's go ahead and turn on the metronome and I'll just mute everything. So the metronome being a MIDI device, the MIDI from the metronome will follow the tempo track as well. And then your other musicians who are actually playing the song 
should follow that tempo change as well. But I find in some cases that I want to put a slight slowdown at the end of a song, but we didn't record it that way. And this is a way that you can do that. Now, if you're working with guitars and bass guitar, I highly recommend that you do this to the DI signal, not the amped signal, because the amp signal is going to give you more artifacts than if you were just time stretching the DI signal. So that's how you can create a slowdown using flex time and the global tempo track in Logic Pro. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please leave it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel to see more content like this. As always, thank you so much for the support and thanks for watching.